This is Connie Bennett. This is the Gab with the Gurus two-question interview. My guest is Steve Scott. He is anchor at WCBS News Radio 880 in New York City. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure, Connie. Thank you. So, Steve, what do you like about working at a radio station, particularly WCBS? You know what I like is the fact that there's a, a great responsibility at an all-news station that you are informing listeners of important things that are going on in their lives or por important things that they're going to want to know about and, and talk about. And quite often, I'm the first person they hear it from. I'm the first person they hear that a, a plane has splash landed in the Hudson River or that Elliot Spitzer has been caught up in a controversy that eventually is going to cost him his job as governor of New York. Uh, I'm the first one who tells them that the Dow gained 400 points today. It was a good day in the, in the world of business and finance. So th there's a great responsibility with that, and I take that very seriously, and I really, really enjoy having that role of kind of being the, the modern-day town crier and letting people know what's going on. What a wonderful way of putting it, the modern-day town crier. So how has your role as a journalist changed over the years? Well, I've been in radio now for about 30 years, and, you know, when I first started, all I did was basically hold some paper and read the news on the radio. And you made phone calls to work on some stories and things like that, but it was, it was pretty much just being a news anchor and reporter. And now, you know, things are different. The Internet is around now, and there are more platforms for telling stories. So I don't just talk on the radio. I uh, uh, file stories for our internet. I use a camera, just like this one, to uh, shoot video. I take photos with my cell phone camera. Um, all of these different ways, I put myself out there, I expose my radio station and our brand, WCBS 880, to more people. If they don't listen to us on 880 AM, maybe they listen to us on the website uh, through WCBS880.com or perhaps um, they run into us in some of our uh, outside events. So I think probably just the number of things that I do now, the more I've had to multitask, much more now than I had to do 30 years ago. Great. Well, thank you so much, Steve. My pleasure. Thanks, Connie.